If you want to start a YouTube channel, this is your moment. Right now, YouTube is so easy. Literally, just show up as yourself. You don't need a fancy thumbnail. You don't need a fancy title. Just be your authentic self. This is the time for you to be yourself. And I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't love you. I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't care about you. And I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't realize how abundant this life truly is. Sometimes we think that there's no space or we've missed the train or we've missed the mark or it's too late for us. It's never too late. There's plenty of room for you. When you look at the sky and you see the birds flying, they don't bump into one another because the sky is expansive. The sky is limitless. You have a purpose to serve on this planet. And if you're not serving this purpose on the planet, what are you really doing? Because you've come here to live. You're going to die. That's a guarantee. I don't want to scare you, but it's a guarantee. Death is waiting for you. So in between your life, in between being born and dying, what are you just trying to like, what are you doing? Just scraping on by to survive? You need to live. And part of that is doing the thing that you are passionate about and not being afraid to be your authentic self. Quitting my job 10 months ago was the best thing I could have ever done for myself. And becoming a full-time content creator is the best thing I could have ever done for the world. I get comments all the time about how I'm literally inspiring people and I take no credit for that. That is the glory of God. God is moving through me because I'm finally being obedient. The desires that he's put on my heart, I'm actually not ignoring them for once in my life. Wow, surprise, surprise. I'm actually like getting okay, like getting comfortable with being uncomfortable and finding the discomfort to be actually not that bad okay I don't know what I'm doing half the time whatever I start anyway I do it anyway and this video is just a reminder to you that you can do it too and right now on YouTube is the best time to start your channel sometimes like people think it's oversaturated I've been on this platform since 26 no, since 20 2008 you can go on my channel right now and see my oldest video it's mad embarrassing so I ask that you don't I, I, I'm pleading and begging that you don't look at that video because it's so cringe but it exists on the internet and I've been doing this since I was 16 years old I was 16 when I started my YouTube channel and I am saying this humbly you need to get on this platform if you're over the age of 30 if you're over the age of 40 if you're over the age of 50 I beg you to put yourself on this platform because what I'm noticing is that there's a certain like group of people who dominate this platform and I think there's like a power shift happening and I don't want you to miss out on the shift that is coming and the ways that we as small content creators are going to dominate this platform very soon it's already happening I'm already seeing it and so I say this to like encourage you I say this to hopefully get to you and confirm something that you're already feeling inside of you like if you click on this video you already know deep down that you want to create content and that you want to be a youtuber there's nothing embarrassing about being a youtuber there's nothing embarrassing about sharing your story sharing your testimony and making this world a better place your positive energy actually is needed here i used to honestly think and i think the reason why i've you know i've kind of gone in and out of this platform a lot because i tried so hard to be nor tried so hard to be normal tried so hard to go down the broad wide path that we're all funneled funneled through i went to school i graduated college and got my bachelor's degree then i went to grad school and got my master's degree and then i started earning a hundred thousand dollars a year but i also realized how fleeting all of it is and how meaningless it all is and that realization slapped me dead in the face when my mom died suddenly only 13 months before my brother died and i had already lost my dad in 2016 so i've lost three immediate 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 family members I, I was never I never I never met my grandparents they all died way before I was born so the, my grandparents on my mom's side my grandparents on my dad's side none of me and my siblings we never met them so the first time I had to taste death was with my dad then my brother and then my mom and so I say this because what are we really doing on this planet like how are we really making this a better place and why are you giving away your power thinking that you can't make a difference thinking that being yourself isn't enough matter of fact you being yourself is a blessing to anyone who comes across you anyone who crosses your path is blessed by you you and you got to start believing that and one thing I want to say is for me like nine to fives were literally not where I was meant to be and I had all these signs and just big glaring warning signs every time I worked at a place something wild would happen the first time I had my first my first job in the United States so before I started actually working in the US I worked in Korea and that was fine and dandy I had a great time in my early 20s living in South Korea and then found out my dad was diagnosed with cancer and I came right back to the States to be by his side but then after that I started working as an educator 
working at a teacher and I got chased down the hallway by a grown man. He was screaming my name and he was like, Marilyn, get back here. And if you want a story time about that, I can let, I can make a story time about why, like, you know, why and how and what, what went down. But just know that he ended up getting fired, not because he chased me down the hallway, but because he was doing drugs and drinking alcohol behind his desk in a full classroom of students. I'm not even joking. And then one year I was working in a, a place in Boston. This woman told me that the only reason why I had my job was because I was a black woman. And I actually really liked her and she was very kind to me, but she felt a little too comfortable and bold to say that. And then she had the audacity to tell the entire school body like the, not the kids but the teachers during like a professional development she told everyone that she said that to me and then everyone wanted her out and so she got fired <laughs> like i'm not making this up that happened to me what else happened to me there's so many things y'all there's so many things and then in my most recent job that i quit this woman was so jealous of me i was literally four months pregnant but that didn't matter to her she body blocked me from getting into a classroom mind you i was an instructional coach and as an instructional coach my job is to go into classrooms sit in the back of the classroom and like do my observations i kid you not these are the things i've had to experience and this is not even scratching the surface of the types of things I've had to experience as a woman who worked a regu regular traditional nine to five and I was nothing but kind. I'm really honest, like if I was a B, if I was a B to these people and if, if I deserved the, the treatment, I would say it loud and clear. I have nothing to hide, literally. But I actually was very kind, very forgiving. And when those things happened to me, I would swallow those things. I would go to God, I would pray on it. And I come back the next day still open arms, willing to uh, like, uh, like, you know, accept the apology, willing to forgive. And I always forgave. The woman who body blocked me, this is the woman that body blocked me ended up getting fired because she was telling the students to take videos of the teachers. Like I've not been fired. I've, I've not been fired. I actually quit these jobs. I actually choose to leave these places because they're toxic environments for my light. My light shines so bright that it threatens a lot of people. But here's the crazy, but here's the amazing thing. My light has shined in those spaces where when I go around to like different communities and students who recognize me from when I worked in those communities, they are so proud to see me. They'll say my full name. They'll say, oh my God, we loved you. You were my favorite teacher. My girlfriend said that you were her favorite teacher too. And they'll like brag. I went to, you know, I go to um, PetSmart sometimes to get my pets their food. And one of the kids, um, he's not even a kid, he's a grown man now. He's like 19, but he works at the front desk and his manager was right next to him and they were talking and he was like, she used to be my math teacher. He was so excited to let this woman know that I used to be his math teacher. So I say all that to say that I am a child of God. When I walk into spaces, I walk in with love and power and dignity. And I love students. I'll do anything. I would literally die for a stranger. And so the fact that people in these nine to fives treated me like, like the way they treated me was beyond me. And I honestly am so thankful that I don't wa work in those spaces anymore because now I can give back in a massive way. Like this is scaling my impact. YouTube can, YouTube literally scales your impact and you can make money on YouTube. I've gotten emails from companies who want to collaborate with me, who want to give me brand deals, who want to sponsor my videos. I have an interview coming up. God has been opening all these doors for me now that I have finally surrendered to his will and his will for my life is to reach people, to encourage, to uplift, to love, and to uh, remind you of who your heavenly father is and the fact that you are literally perfect just the way he created you. You're beautiful from head to toe. That is my that is my mission here on my channel. And if you have some something pulling at your heart right now and it's trying to tell you to create content on YouTube, you need to just start. I don't have the blueprint. I don't have, I didn't purchase a course to teach me the ins and outs. I just believe that if I come across a stumbling block, God is going to remove that stumbling block and give me the power, the authority to get things done that need to get done. He will increase my capacity. He will increase my territory because God is a good God who loves me and loves you. If you want to start a YouTube channel, 
this is your moment right now YouTube is so easy literally just show up as yourself you don't need a fancy thumbnail you don't need a fancy title just be your authentic self this is the time for you to be yourself and I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't love you I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't care about you and I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't realize how abundant this life truly is sometimes we think that there's no space or we've missed the train or we've missed the mark or it's too late for us it's never too late there's plenty of room for you when you look at the sky and you see the birds flying they don't bump into one another because the sky is expansive the sky is limitless we are limitless beings we are spiritual beings having a human experience and part of this human experience is actually giving to the world not just taking at a nine to five i felt like i was just hoarding my little bit of wealth shopping eating over consuming being flashy on instagram being flashy and like, like i just don't care about what i can acquire anymore i don't care about having small talk with people who literally are jealous of me people who don't care about me people who are just trying to get over on me i actually am not here for that and that's not to say all nine to fives are like that there is a function and there's a purpose for nine to fives we are literally living in a society that is dynamic we need everyone at every single different level but if you literally are denying yourself of doing the thing that god is putting on your heart then you are being disobedient and I don't want to scare you, but literally you have a purpose to serve on this planet. And if you're not serving this purpose on the planet, what are you really doing? Because you've come here to live. You're going to die. That's a guarantee. I don't want to scare you, but it's a guarantee. Death is waiting for you. So in between your life, in between being born and dying, what are you just trying to like, what are you doing? Just scraping on by to survive? You need to live. And part of that is doing the thing that you are passionate about and not being afraid to be your authentic self. Anyway, I really need to get, I, I just wanted to get this video out. I was compelled to talk about this. I love you so much if you got to the end of this, of this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.